Oh, there you go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I'm recording off of my Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. And I got my setup right here. Got one for the PS4 as well as the Wi Fi router. Um, it's, uh, that's what that model is. And I'm um, powering it off with DC 5 volt USB, though, by the way. It's slightly, um, hold on, similar than this one, so this is the adapter that came with the, 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 um, 10 watt, um, uh, 12 volt AC adapter. It will do 12 volt, 2 amps, and also this thing will even charge on my battery station, which is kind of silly, but when I keep a, this thing will charge at my battery station around 37 watts, which is, yeah, true, because 12 volts, <laughs> so, use this thing would waste a little bit of power because I have to use it a little bit on the inverter, so it's actually doable doing it this way, except that it kind of hangs out a little. Um, let's see. Kind of hangs out a little. Oop. Hold on. Let me show you all in the back. And then just to confirm y'all, this is getting only 6 watts. And it'll increase my run time versus doing that 12 volt um, um, AC plug inverter loss. Doing the DC to AC, I mean the AC to DC, which was giving me more run time. And all I would need is to heat charge it with this, that's it. And then take this thing out because it slightly kind of dual charges a little. Uh, slow dual charge is what it will do, not full, full of the speed of dual charging, so... Anyway, this thing battery station is dead, huh? This is the Pro Genie uh, small capacity battery. It doesn't it has a, a five bar basic uh, cell phone display, and uh, it's saying that's empty, so still will work for sure. But yeah, so yeah, now, some of the stuff will work. It's just that you're limit, you're kind of limited what you can do with it while it's you know dead. Although the flashlight may work while it's dead. Yep, sure does. But eventually gonna have to charge it in a little bit. So anyway, this is a whole lot better and uh um to do a five volt uh conversion like this, you know, have Wi Fi routers run run on ace I mean uh, run on US USB like this because it'll save save more power and plus it might be limited to what it can do or I don't know just probably will do the same thing what it can do for now shouldn't affect the speed to have this cable this is from the box going to the white box I'll show you all the white box in a minute and this is the the second Ethernet cable USB 3.0 reset button as well as the uh, WPS on this side. WPS protected, um, Wi-Fi protected setup. As well as the back of this TD. This TD uses um around thirty watts. Thirty watts. That's the power information. So, yeah. Hmm. Connected uh, to this PS4, so, yep. Hmm, okay. So, yeah. Hmm. So, PS4 and then the, the TP-Link Wi-Fi wi router from Walmart. Um, this one's also from Walmart, though, too. And Best Buy, maybe you can get it Best Buy, but anyway, we're all with this cable, and this is can charge my bottom of my battery station, so this is connected and ready to go. Uh, here's, I think, the cord right here, ready to go, right there, and here's, here's the Wi-Fi router right here, that's, you know, connected to there. And there's about like four of these things. Uh, there's TP-Link 
you can view it on the website. This thing will flash red when it's not working properly, when the internet's not working properly. So yeah, that's pretty much it from there. So, 5 volt, it will still work. It will just hang out, hang off a little bit. So, it also will save a whole lot of power doing it this way. So, yep, there we go. I just extended more, more run time on my battery station with it doing just DC, basic DC versus running on the AC with the inverter loss. Plus, it's getting pretty dirty. The, the ports a little bit are getting kind of dusty. As well as the display. Yeah. Slightly damaged right there, like where it shows a little line somewhere. Like the display itself is cracked a little bit, you know. It's getting some scratches, just showing some, you know, aging a little. Like uh, the loss, I mean, not losses, uh, the dirtiness. Mm. Yeah, those 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 things are brass uh, gold, I think. And also the 12 volt has a cover right here, so this is protected. And it's getting pretty dirty inside. This is the inside. Let me show y'all the inside a little. Oh yeah, there we go. That's it. Almost the inside of it. I don't know how good y'all can see it, but it's, there's the there's the inverter, like a little bit all in there. That um, you just see the little thing right there. That's the inverter right there. All that parts in there are inverter. That's why I can see a whole lot more right there. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not taking it apart. Also, there's screws bottom of these feet right here where you can take those pads off and screw the thing off and disassemble. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna mess with electricity that's you know stored. Oh crap. So yeah, there you go. USB power to say it's gonna last way longer. Uh way long way longer run time, so anyways. And also the Wi Fi speed may be different or the performance may be different, but also anyways, and I'm recording now. And also I haven't done the the twenty USB test on this battery station, as well as this being connected at the same time to give it this thing more run time with the, the second battery on the bottom. So yeah. Anyways, in the recording now. Um USB powered right here. Five volt five volt USB powered. Has pass. And it will last a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure about about like forty or plus this is a three hundred and seventy two one hours plus with the second battery on the bottom, so it may last a slightly longer if I have this thing on. Plus, I would have charged it. I would charge it later because this thing is not dying so bad right now. Not dying as fast. But I will charge this later eventually. Once this thing gets to 50%, I will start charging this battery station next. Or if not, later. But anyways, I'm recording now. And hopefully in the future, I'll get like a gaming Wi-Fi router. Somewhere in the future. A gaming Wi-Fi router that um, Netgear... The Netgear has the three antennas like this instead of the four antennas like this. It'll have three antennas, one right here, one right here, and one right there. And they both go like this. The two two at the ends like this. So, yeah. And then the one in the middle just points at the top like that. So, yep. There you go. So, in the recording now, goodbye. As well as this one. This one can be antenna adjustable. This one can go forward and backwards. This one can go forward and backwards. This one can go right to left. Right to left. So anyways, in the recording now, bye bye and as well as be able to put a Wi-Fi right away versus having the antenna sticking up like that. But anyways, bye bye now. And in the recording now. So bye. Bye bye.